be to the next uh, few days and few weeks and then uh, we shall finish this uh, outbreak soon okay Selamat datang ke channel saya kerja data online please consider to subscribe like and share all our videos we provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara personal to all of you ladies and gentlemen Welcome to my channel kajidataonline.com Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to share some of the idea in terms of data analysis uh, based on the current public health issues, COVID-19. So, this is the first important website that you should uh, refer with, which is our Ministry of Health government uh, to report and also updating any new cases. Uh, related to the COVID-19. So as you can see, um, there are few ideas and also uh, data um, available here. And if you would like to see more uh, about this COVID-19, you can also refer to another uh, video, infographic and so on. Or else you can also click the link pro provided down there about the uh, Malaysia Kini website they call it as a news lab um, news lab uh, subdomain where they have a very uh, extensive and updating data that gathered uh, the Ministry of Health data based on their reporting mechanism and then they also provide some um, insight overview of the special condition in each of the state uh, in Malaysia and you can also browse through um, with regard to the patient information and they give you some idea about uh, the number of the cases and um, where this particular contacts got uh, the contact from. And then uh, they also plot some sort of uh, spatial mapping uh, with regard to the COVID-19 cases. Okay, another one will be the outbreak.my. Okay, outbreak.my is another... Um, online platform also that they retrieve the information uh, from Ministry of Health and also from uh, Malaysia Kini website. It is um, also provide a very extensive case uh, by case according to the states. Uh, they got also uh, the statistical analysis with regard to the conditions of each of the uh, data. And then they also provide a very a uh, good uh, network analysis that um, clearly uh, giving you some information uh, about where the condition of the disease take place um, from uh, exposure to and exposure from where the patients uh, got that uh, contact towards the virus. And then the last but not least is actually the famous one. We call it as the COVID-19 Global Cases Center of System Science and Engineering under the John Hopkins University. So you can also uh, look into the statistic here. And then you can also observe about the active cases. And then down here, you can browse through and download the data from the GitHub and also some special data from ArcGIS. Okay, so based on all this information, I already construct, um, I would say, I would say it, this is not a very accurate uh, prediction. It's just um, plug and play and also using some uh, basic understanding of the forecasting technique. And I already retrieved all of this data from the website that I mentioned to you just now. So based on the data tabulated here and I also um, not predict but I just tabulate it according until the 4th April 2020 and I run a few models here um, that already been um, explained in this graph. So this graph actually uh, talking about the uh, current statistical condition, uh, current um, data reported and being tabulated using the statistical technique and also some statistical model. So one of the model that um, I'm using is actually the ARIMA model. You can see here the orange color. ARIMA stands for Auto Regressive Integrated Moving Average using the SPSS. Okay, this is the data. And then I got the predicted cases and lower case, uh, lower and upper bound. And then based on that projected data simulated by the computer 
computational element i produce this uh, graph um, looking for the uh, predictions towards the higher possible um, cases that will be reported in um, in the next few days and also i um, plotted the data that already being forecast using the arima model 110 so according to the expert modeler under the arima model we can see that the reported cases that uh, possibly being simulated is around 113 and then i further use the data for the auto regressive model which is um, is just a simple model uh, talking about the, uh, tomorrow data is being predicted by using uh, today data that means what happened tomorrow it depends on what happened today so based on that we can see that um, a very a very good declining of the um, possible disease spread um, and also i think uh, this is will will be happening hopefully allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us on this uh, due to the fact that the government's already implement the movement control order uh, with uh, which restrict the movement of the personnel to go to the office and, and then they need to stay inside the home which is uh, i think a very good um, implementation uh, to control the spread of the disease so this is just a academic and educational kind of uh, analysis so if you interested to learn about how this uh, graph or how this prediction being construct you can um, comment down uh, this video and if you want to know more um, please let me know in the comment section below so i think uh, that's all for today so remember this is just an idea and hopefully the movement control or the pauses by our government uh, shall impact positively to the next uh, few days and few weeks and then uh, we shall finish this uh, outbreak soon Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching this video and see you again next time.